Okay, welcome back. This is part 7 of my complete file upload uh, website tutorial series. And uh, uh, at the end of part 6, I noticed that uh, this was not working, and because it was automatically just inserting in some, uh, the username is for my uh, PHP my admin databases, er, that were already uh, saved uh, using my web browser, and it was automatically inserting it, so it wasn't really showing what it should have. And then after I remove those from Chrome, I notice that there's a little error here. This should be set to value, not values. There should not be an S. So if we fix that, you can see it changes it to username now. Also, what I said we were going to do is we were going to use some JavaScript to make it so once you enter into these uh, text boxes, that it'll automatically change the content. Uh, so, like, you can just say username, you click in, it'll get rid of the content, and you can type it out. And then when you leave the text box, uh, so when you get out of the text box, if the value is nothing, that means that you didn't type anything in, then we'll change the value back to username. So, it's a very handy thing to know, and I'm going to show you how to code it. Uh, so, with HTML uh, forms, and really anything for that matter, you can... Uh, use the on method so if you're using Dreamweaver you have this handy dandy little box just type in on and you can look at all the various JavaScript things and see all these right here on click on double click on focus on key down all of these these are all JavaScript methods um, so they're very handy so we're going to be using the on focus and the on blur uh, methods and uh, we're going to be using a function inside of here and we're going to have this function in a separate uh, JavaScript file that we're simply just going to call JavaScript.js and JS is the extension for a JavaScript file so the function we're going to call it is username box underscore focus and then you have your curly your, you have your uh, parentheses and then a semicolon now this is our function name and we have our uh, parentheses right here and that means it doesn't require any parameters so we don't have to send our function any values um, now in order to use these things you how we're gonna set this up you must have an ID um, now if you're downloading the free source code in the description um, then you'll have this already in it and you just need to fix this values right there to value uh, you must have an ID to use these JavaScript uh, functions that we're gonna create so you have to have an ID, which we already have, which is username box and password box. <coughs> so if you want, you can just copy and paste this. And we're going to change this focus to blur. And we're going to change this focus to blur. Now, the on focus, what your focus is, is when you click on a box, you can see Google Chrome, it automatically highlights this box. That means you're focused on that box and you're, you're entered inside of the box. So if you leave the box that is the blur so it gets rid of uh, the highlight so that's your blur and focus so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two methods or two functions rather and we're, one's called username box underscore focus and one other is called username box underscore blur now that's just for our username we also need to create uh, two functions for our password box now I'm simply just gonna copy and paste this and change both of these to password and just copy and paste that so we're going to create four functions total just for these uh, just for these two text fields um, and we're going to have uh, them call the functions called these so I'm just going to create a new file and I'm going to put it inside of my design directory new file and we're just going to call it javascript.js and like I mentioned before, JS is the extension for a JavaScript file.